Hey my BGA crew, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be having gorditas. This is a traditional Mexican dish and this is a corn dough kind of like similar to tamale dough and they're stuffed well these ones are stuffed with pork and nopal red chili so that's cactus and pork meat in a red chili sauce. Oh my God, I'm salivating. And of course, our Mexican rice here. And uh, this is a cabbage slaw. This is just cilantro, cabbage, and some lime pepper salt. And then of course, mama's chilte bean salsa. Oh my God. And I got a story time for you guys. Literally, it is, these are fresh out the fryer, by the way. Uh, so they're quite but hot. Um, but yes, uh, let's get into this. I'll get into the story just as soon as I take a couple of bites. So let's get started because I'm starving. <laughs> Ooh, piping hot. Oh my God. Mmm. Wow. I don't know if y'all can see that steam. The camera never picks it up. Oh my God. Anyway, that's pork and a cactus and a red chili sauce. I'm just gonna use my hands, whatever. Oh my God. Huh? Mm. <laughs> oh my God. That lemon though. Oh my God, the lemon in the slaw. Wow. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> wow. If you guys have not had this, oh my God. Hmm. And for those of you that have never had, oh, and there's onion in here too, sorry, I forgot to mention. For those of you that have never had cactus or are too, you know, not adventurous enough to try cactus, you can make these little um, gorditas, these little stuffed uh, fried doughs um, with just meat, like a, a meat stew or something, red chili, green chili. Mm. 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 Of course, you know, I'm on this Gatorade Zero kick. Mm. Okay. Let me take, let me taste my rice. Y'all know I'm a rice person. Oh. Mm. I prefer rice over beans. Mm. Oh my God. Okay. So. This is a story of when I literally almost died. <clears throat> or was put into a situation where I could have died, me and other friends of mine. So, I was probably nine, nineteen at the time, and my friends and I. We went to a park and it was probably, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night, 
the park was pretty much empty. It was probably 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. or like midnight, somewhere around those hours. The hours that you should be inside your house, not outside, like in the street at that age. And so, it was like five of us, four of us. Yeah, it was four of us. And we were just sitting on my friend's car. Well, listen to this. When we pulled in, there was there was two parking lots. One main parking lot for the rest of the, you know, people who wanted to visit the park. And then there was a little tiny parking lot over here that which connected to the big one. But this one was like its own little cul-de-sac, I guess you could say. And it was over here by like the pool area. So if people wanted to use the pool during the day, this is where they would park. Mm. So when we pulled in there, we saw that there was a, a truck over there and some people partying or whatever they were doing. So we get off. Where there may be 45 minutes, of course, you know, we bust out our bottle, our 40 ounces of Bud Light or uh, Mickey's. I don't know if y'all know Mickey's. And so we're just chilling, having a good time, chit-chatting, drinking our 40s. Yes, I know, we weren't of the legal age, but we were doing that. Hmm. So anyway, all of a sudden, I'm leaning against the car. My friends are sitting on top. And my friend has his car doors open. We're listening to music. And I noticed that everybody jumps into the truck um, very quickly in that other parking lot. And so I'm like, didn't think anything of it right away. But there was only one entrance into our little parking lot. And I see that they literally like pulled in and blocked that exit. And I'm like, oh my God. Something's up. All of a sudden, I see like six guys running up to us, our, our little group. Two of them had bats. Another one had a gun. Uh, I don't even remember. I think one of them had brass knuckles. I don't know, but they had all weapons. And you can tell that they were probably using like some kind of drug like meth or something along those lines. So they were all strung out. So anyway, we all got scared. These are the like crazy people and they caught us off guard. So we all just like, Right away, we're like, hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on? And so the guys are standing behind the guy with the gun. I mean, the guys with the bats are standing behind the guy with the gun. <clears throat> and he's pointing it at all of us. And he's like, all oh, you mother effers, right now, give me your wallet. Put everything right here on top of this car. Everything. Your wallet on top of my friend's uh, trunk of his car. He's like, right now, jewelry, wallets, anything of valuable. Watch it. So right away. As like my friends are like doing that, I'm taking off my rings. I had expensive rings on my watch. I'm putting them in my pockets. And he's like, you! And he's pointing the gun at me and I'm like, oh my God, he just saw me. So he's like, what do you have? And I was like, I don't have anything. I don't have nothing. I don't have a wallet or nothing. And I did. But all of a sudden, like, oh my God, I'm literally about to be in tears. I'm like, oh my God, he's about to, like, this is the end. I'm about to die. I didn't, you know, I didn't get to live my life. I'm like, my mom's gonna, my family's gonna find out that I'm dead. My mom, what is she gonna think? Literally, in that moment, it is true. When you're like put in a dangerous situation like that, your whole life flashes before your eyes.
So he tells his friends to frisk me. And I'm like, oh, hell no. And I'm backing up. And at this point, like, I'm not going to attempt to fight anybody. Like, there's too many of them. There's only four of us, six of them. They have weapons. We don't. So my friend, I don't know if one of the guys starts, like, hitting him or something. But, like, a scuffle breaks out. And so the guys that were coming after me to frisk me uh, start paying attention to my friend. So my friend's sitting in the car, and this other guy is coming at him, and he's, like, fighting back. My friend was, like, sitting in the driver's seat. I don't know what he tried to do. Maybe call somebody. I don't know what, but this guy comes at him. They start fighting, and they, like, literally, the, the main guy with the gun is, like, in a panic. He's like, I want, like, he, you can tell he just wants this shit to end. He wants the goods. He wants the money, the valuables. Let's go. So all of a sudden, all of a sudden, one of my friends, and mind you, all this that I'm explaining to you, this is within, like, a small, like, four or five minute period. And it seems like a lot, but it was, it was just so fast. And it was probably less than five minutes. It's probably like a three, three minute period that's going on. So anyway, my friend recognizes one of the guys in the crowd. So my friend goes, hey, I know you, you're so-and-so. He goes, you go to my school. And oh my God, you should have seen the guy with the gun. He was literally like frantic. He's, he's telling the guys, go, go rip off the license plate off my car, off my truck, go. And I'm like, at this point, I'm like, oh my God, like he's going to kill us all. <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh, but oh my God, Ooh. suck is hot. I'm like, oh my God, my friend recognized one of them. This could either go two ways. We all get it murdered or they're going to take off running and try to like hide or whatever. Praise the Lord. Thank God. This guy, his friend is like literally trying to rip off this guy's license plate and there ain't no budging. With that license plate. Y'all know once those screws are in, they're in. So he's like, take off your shirt, cover it. So he starts running to the friend that's trying to rip off the license plate. He takes off his shirt, tries, tries covering it, and they all flee. They all literally jump into the truck and leave. We're left there. I'm not lying to you guys. They literally all ran to the truck, jumped in, and drove off. Meanwhile, me and all my friends are standing there like... What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? So yes. Oh. I was shaking so bad. So bad when I went to when they took me home that night. I was literally shaking so bad, and the whole night I was like scared. Scared is not even the word. I was literally petrified. I remember like all, literally all throughout the morning, three, four in the morning, I was looking out the blinds and I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna come, they're gonna kill me. Literally looking out the window the whole night, scared. If I have any advice for you, don't be at a park with your friends getting drunk. <laughs> don't, first of all, don't be underage drinking. Second of all, don't be at a park after hours with friends doing those things. We are so lucky that we got out of there alive. Because if 
for all I know, he could have shot us all. He literally could have been like, oh my God, this guy is going to identify all of us. But <clears throat> I guess he wasn't that smart. And he got so scared, he literally just took off running. Mm. In the comments below, let me know. Have any of you guys had like a scary experience like that? Like where you're just doing something that's like... You know, nothing crazy, and the situation pops off like that where it's out of your control. That was scary. And literally, instead of me handing over my rings and my watch, I'm over here discreetly putting them in my pocket like I could have lost my life for some jewelry jewelry that I don't even own anymore or whatever young and dumb mmm This is like one of the first times I think I've ever finished my food. Mm. So good. My mom calls that a Mexican slaw. Literally, all it is, like I said, is thinly, thinly sliced Spanish onion, thinly sliced cabbage, chopped cilantro, salt, pepper, garlic, to your taste, and then some lime juice, fresh lime juice. Well, that was delicious, or oh, whatever. Thank you to Mama Appetite for coming through once again. Oh my God. I know, I keep telling her, get it together, lady, and start a channel with your recipes. Oh my God, everybody wants to know. But she's working at her own pace, I guess. Anyway, as long as I got to record a couple of minutes of her prepping them and getting it together, then I guess that sufficed for the time being. But anyway, as always, thank you so much to my BGA crew for your love and support. You guys know I love you to the moon and back. And if you're watching this and you're not yet a part of the BGA crew, please hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you are notified every time that I upload a new video and every time that I go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.